Hello sailors and welcome aboard. This is U-Boat and I am your skipper, Carrot Top Gamer. We are got a new series that we're starting, which is essentially just called U-Boat, based on World War II German submarines in the Atlantic. So what we're going to do, this is mission one. We are going to essentially get our orders, stop the ship up and then get to it. So if you guys can all find your bunks and get your stuff stowed away and we'll get ready to depart from the sub pen we're in the port of la rochelle so let's go and speak to the leading officer beim bdu wird viel über ihre letzte patrouillenfahrt geredet gute arbeit now i could switch it to english before the immersion and the fact let's face it i don't know many german um U-boat captains that would have been speaking English at the time. I've decided to keep it as German, just with subtitles, just for just to make it a bit more fun. If you guys decide you'd rather it be in English, let me know, and I will happily change that. These sind die heutigen Aufträge vom BDU. Streng geheim. Espionage at Belfast Harbour. Let's get our orders and see what we want to do. Patrol sector DH. Where's that? But we're up here, just in La Rochelle. So let's do... DH would make more sense, wouldn't it? So let's select that one. Kapitän, das let's have a look at what tun. crew we've got. See if we can get any new ones. Okay, we'll recruit him. Right, and we'll take him. That'll do for those ones. Goodbye. Was brauchst and now du, let's... Leute? Now let's stock up our ship. I want as many parts as I can get. Food. I'd like some meat. Let's get some meat on the... And some veg. What have we got? Preserved pork. So, yeah. So we've got all those in there. We've got canned bread. We're in the process of moving canned meat and we've got vegetables. Ooh, cheese is always a good option. Let's have some cheese. We should have enough ammunition. Yep, so we're okay for ammunition. Gonna fill up the fuel completely. So we'll refuel them and we're gonna get another T2 torpedo. Transfer that across. All of this stuff we're not going to be able to afford at the moment. So, yep, I am thankful. Thank you for that. Now, we could wait the 16 hours for them to physically load it. But what I'm going to do is you're going to see the intro. You're going to see the intro. And then we will be ready to disembark. Okay, so we're back at back now. It's night time and we are going to set our waypoints so we can get on our way. So this is where we are at the moment. So I'm going to pull us out over here because we want to get out of the way. Ooh. We'll go over there. And out over here. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Now, let's have a look. Where is it? Okay, so this is where we want to get to. So what I'm going to do is go up here. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Across to here. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. 
just do a little pattern like that to begin with because fuel is a bit of a premium so if we do the perimeter and then we'll just quickly cut into the center and out and we'll take it from there so that's our course set we've got our crew on board is good we've got radio man torpedoes he's mentioned our engineer mentioned the engines our skipper and just a guy playing cards you know right guys i want to go full ahead forward three please we've got alfred taking out the torpedo and he's just um Keeping it nice and prepped and ready in case we need it. Cleaning it and all that lot. Make, doing some maintenance to the tubes as well. You can now see us starting to move. I've got darker nights on, which makes it very, very dark. But that's part of the fun. So let's... Let's get our skipper to turn the searchlight on just for... As you can see now, everything's lit up. We can see everything now. Okay, so while he does that, what I'm going to do is speed this up. And with some clever editing, you're going to come back to us when we hit the patrol area or something interesting happens in the meantime. So I will see you in a second. Okay, so we've just received a message just upon getting close to our reported um, patrol patrol route. We have information that crucial technology has been loaded onto a freighter empire lapwig. It must be sunk at all costs. It's predicted location. So it's given us a location and it's telling us that's what we've got to do. So what we're going to do is we are going to try and find this this ship while we're here so it's reported location is about here so yeah boy. we are going to try and intercept it don't want any of the radios on cord no so we're going to now try and intercept this um ship i'm pretty sure it's Night time again by the time we got here. Oh no, daytime there. So there we go. Nice little. Um... Oh, we got chimney smoke has been spotted. We get our captain to get some sailors on with him, and then this will help him to spot things. So we've got some sailors now, which should be going upstairs to him. Here they go. I'm, I should add that this game is still in early access, so it is not the full finished fledged game. So you may find some little bits that don't look quite right, but that'll be stuff that will get hopefully resolved in the future. But as a whole, it is in such a good build for a um, early access compared to a lot of early access games nowadays that it is easily playable at the moment, which is why I've decided to make a series out of it okay so we're just floating moving our way along we're not at full speed we're kind of just at medium just to preserve as much fuel as possible but we've now spotted a contact so i'm gonna send a signal to let them know that i do love the water effects in this game it is so well done the way the light shimmers across it as well one of the few games that get it quite right. So let's have a quick look in the map and see what we've seen. It's saying we've got a chimney smoke of a tiny group. Ah, uh, right, they can wait because they're not. They are not our priority. Oh, we've got visual contact as well. What the bloody hell we got over here? There's visual. I don't know how we've got visual contact to something outside our line of sight. 
that's fine. We're interested in this group here. I'm going to go to full ahead to try and get to him as quick as possible. Okay, so we've managed to catch up with the convoy. It seems to consist of just three freighters, and it doesn't look like there's any escorts, which is good for news for us. And it also has the lap wing, which is the um, ship we're looking for. So what I'm doing is I'm currently on an intercept course with them. I'm still on the surface, but it is night time, so it means we can get a lot closer to them without being detected at this point, because being a submarine with such a small profile, we're going to see them way before they see us. Um, I've managed to get our... Uh, one of our guys to start warming up the torpedo tubes so that they can get ready and get them set up ready for when we decide to do our attack and the captain's on the deck with a couple of officers or a couple of the crew basically spotting so we can try and make sure that nothing else is going to sneak in or sneak up on us and it also means we can try and get a better firing solution on the ship so I'm currently just en route for the intercepts trying to get as close to the the um, that wing because he's the main target okay so we're just going to look for the periscope now see if we can get a firing solution on him so what we need to do is just identify the type of ship it is first that way we know size dimension speeds and all the different stats for that particular ship so let's just have a look and see so it's got okay, a so we're trying to identify a couple of target. It's got one smoke uh, mast. Looks like towards one the rear. Front, one the rear. View we've got. So it's not going to be that one, I don't think. Let's have a look. Okay, no, it's not a destroyer. So it looks like it's going to be one of these styles. So okay. is it this one? can't quite tell from the angle and the light exactly which one it is. It's definitely an Empire More style. But like that one. Is it the Empire Bell? I think it might be the Empire Bell. Looking at it, it looks closer to the Bell than anything else I can tell at the moment. So what I'm going to do is set it as that one. And... Now I've got to try and work out roughly what the direction of it is in comparison. And it looks like it's kind of going off to a side. So, 8.3. We'll give that a go, try that. Right. Now, we'd, now what we're going to do is we've got to try and work out what speed it's going at. Now, the easiest way to determine that is you've got to set the thing to the front and then let it glide through once it's glided through from the nose point being at the at the center line and then the rear then going through the center line that is when it is you kind of start it and stop it and then from there determining its course and stuff like that it will then work out roughly what how many knots it's doing. We're currently trying and to determine how fast it's going. How far the torpedo has to trail. In theory. What you do is you point it right at the bow of the ship. It's uh, essentially how they let used the whole to do ship it, pass but through and then stop once it's past right the center right, line and it that's the question. Its speed. Okay, so we're gonna say that's roughly it. So we're gonna program that in now as well. So we're saying it's around seven so knots. So it's worked out the knots at the bottom for us. And the last thing we need is the distance. So how we work out the distance is you point it at it and then you essentially create a ghost image. You've got to get that ghost image to meet the top of the masts of the ship on the sea line and then it works out roughly how far away it is from yourself. And then from there we can then see what the distance is for the said ship. Okay, so we're going to give that a go. We're going to flood the tubes and fire. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, we're going to find out how the firing solution is. Oh, zwei, and we'll be see be if we get a hit. Oh, eins, bewässert. Oh, zwei, fertig. We're going to give it a go and see Los! if it works. It's going to be one of two things. It's either going to go severely wrong or it's going to go relatively right. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. 
30 Sekunden. I think we may just be off on it a little bit. 20 Sekunden. 10 Sekunden bis Einschlag. Der A ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Yep, we missed. Der A ging daneben, Bugger. Herr Kaloy. We only just missed though, so... Okay, so what I've done is I have redone the firing solution and acquired a new set of coordinates. So hopefully that will be a lot better. So what we're going to do is flood the tubes, three, four and five. And then we're going to send them on their way and see if we can get a hit this time. I'm hoping we're reacquiring the solution should help. I'm going to try and see if I can get a decent view of the torpedoes firing. Not sure if this is going to work because it's quite dark, but we'll give it a go and see. So let's get this ready and fire. Okay, tube three away, tube four away, and tube five away. Okay, didn't really get a very good view there, it's quite dark. Hopefully you might have seen it. Um, I don't know how it would have come across. And the torpedoes now on their way. Is it going to hit? Bugger, I've missed again. Okay, so that's closer though. But... Yeah, uh, obviously shit shows I need a little bit more work when it comes to actually doing the firing solution. Because I've got it set to realistic, it means that I have to do it all manually and the computer won't do it for me. But I prefer that because it adds that little bit more realism and obviously shows how crap I'd be at actually uh, commanding us up. But I am determined I am going to sink this. this I, right, let's see if we've got any more torpedoes that we can load into these tubes and have another go. We've got about just under two hours remaining on the battery so we need to get this sorted quickly because we're going to need to surface too and we've got another two boats on the surface that we've got to deal with so ideally I want to get this one sunk and see if it hits our um, tonnage goal for this mission and if it does we can start heading back before the, uh, before the cavalry arrives Bewegung, los, schneller! Go get off your bed. We need to get as many of these torpedoes in as possible. I am determined. I want... I want to get this ship. Rohr 1, bewässern! Rohr 3, bewässern! If this doesn't work, I'm just going to say I'm shit at it. And start again. Los! Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. 30 Sekunden. Fehlschuss. Fehlschuss. Finally, we hit it. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. We're gonna hit with the second one. Go on. No, the second one missed. But still, he's on fire. And it looks like he's gonna be taken on water. Yep, he's going down. See you later, sucker. Rohr 2 geladen. Kurs setzen. Now, before we go back for that, I want to take these guys out. Let's go for him. Oh, 
I didn't realize I could do that either. Nice. Means we've got more idea of what the actual ship is. Okay, so let's get into the visual view. Um, he's heading roughly the same as me. We've got an hour and 23 to go. Let's get up a bit closer. He knows I'm here. What about him? Yep. Well, of course they know I'm here. They've seen their ship, just, their fellow ship just get destroyed. So. We wanna go. Where are you? No, not you. You. Okay, so I've um, set up a firing solution on him. We're just loaded to one, and what we're going to do is give it a go and see if we can sink this bad boy as well. Okay, so the tube's flooded. Just waiting for the OK to fire. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Lord! Away. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. 20 Sekunden. No, okay. Surface, we're going to take the deck gun and we're just going to shoot the shit out of them. Okay, let's. I want you on the targeting scope. You can take three with you. Oh, no, I thought we had water on then. Oh, we do uh we do have water on there okay so Captain. can you turn on the pump you can move the the radio. Radio. What the bloody hell is he shooting at? I can't figure this out. He's firing at something, but there's no ship there. The ship's over there, mate. Where are you aiming? It's over there, mate. Look. To your right. You can see it right there. Mate. It's right there. Captain. I think my gunner needs glasses. I don't know who he's firing at, but we're going to fire that one. I have no idea if this is hitting or not, I can't tell. Well that one definitely didn't. So it would appear that they haven't modelled the explosions on 
the ship end yet. I'm definitely hitting him. I'm seeing things fall off the ship. Oh, just missed him. We've got a fire on board, which is good. I am determined to have you sunk, mate. Another fire's broken out, so we are giving them hell. Let's go back to armor piercing bullets and see if we can get him sunk. Oh, something else has fallen off, I've just seen. Oh, it looks like they're going down. Could just be me, but they look like they're going. Looks like his back's broken. They're listing a lot. The front end's coming out. I don't think they've got much left in them then. Which is what we like to see. Stop wasting your ammo on them, you Egypt. Let's go for this one over here. get a fire on deck. Nope, I think we're done. Last bullet. Nope, that's it. No more to give. Shit with a star shell. <laughs> fire everything you have at him. Achtung. Okay, leave that position then. Same there. Herr Kaloy. You, my friend, can turn that on. Okay, how are we looking on the front torpedo tubes? Are we, um... Kapitän. Okay, so... 
all the tubes are in so what we're going to do now is going to lock on this guy here okay let's sink this one to some mass on the ship so there five cables Let's see how speed he's going up and then we're gonna sink the bastard So we're saying six knots, okay. Rotate the arrow to visually match the course of your target. Okay. We just gotta hope this does the job. Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Treffer. Feuer an Deck. Yep, Schwere so Schäden him. am Rumpf. Is it enough to sink him? That's the question. Go on, sink it. Oh, I think he's going. It looks like water's getting on the back. Yeah, he's as good as gone. Look at him, he is as good as gone. He's still got power. But he ain't surviving that. Look, his health's going down. Yeah, look, the more water he takes on, the more he's starting to go down. Yep, there we go. And he's off. See you later. Right then, so we've sunk the three ships, not in the most glamorous of fashions, but we managed to do it. Not bad for an inexperienced captain. And now we're heading back to port. We are back in the port. So, we not only did we manage to sink 
all three ships not in the prettiest of fashion it cost us a lot to do so because of the physical amount of torpedoes we wasted but we got all three down we managed to not get any damage either and we managed to do our patrol so so yeah next time i'm going to try and see let's have a quick look what missions we may get beim bdu wird viel über ihre letzte patrouillenfahrt oh there we go he's telling us we have gain points from decoration contribution for well, that that what about the other one that's a bit ash and we've had the iron cross second class And the Iron Cross First Class. There we go. So we've got our three sunken ships there. This is the summary of our mission. So we can have a look and see what we've done. Our objectives was to find the lap wing. Sink the lap wing. We've done that. Travel the 1,210 nautical miles inside the marked area. We've done that. And we had to sink 7,000 and we sunk 9,000 tons. So overall, pretty good day in the office. Dies sind die heutigen Aufträge vom BDU. Streng we do more patrols or espionage of docks. So that'll be something we'll look at next time. And we'll have a look at a few of these options as well. Okay, so I think we're going to call it there. So if you have enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you get the bell on, it'll let you know of any future content that I have on the channel. And also let me know what you thought of the video and any suggestions you think you might have for it. And I'll be happy to read them, see if there's anything that I can incorporate. And obviously respond to the comments. So I've been Carrot Top Gamer. This has been Ubo Episode 1. And I hope to see you in the next one.